And yeah. So we are here in uh, Vienna at Vienna Comic Con 2016 with Adam Hughes, uh, master comic artist, I can say that probably. So uh, first I would like to ask uh, about the city. How do you like uh, Vienna and Austria? And is this your first time here? Uh, yes, first time I've been here. Uh, I've only been here two days. So uh, we saw a little bit of the city when we arrived and it seemed wonderful. And we're going to stay for an extra three days and uh, try to explore. Oh, nice. Extra three days after the convention, yes. I guess. Ah, OK. That's awesome. Uh, so, next question is uh, the usual one. What are you working on right now? Am I working on right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, right now. Um, I'm writing and drawing Betty and Veronica for Archie Comics. And uh, do you like it? I mean, uh, it's not really the kind of stuff you're known for, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's why I asked. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. You've know, you got to do different stuff, and uh, uh, they, they're letting me draw it in my own style. So it doesn't look like the, tradi the traditional Betty and Veronica comics. I see. But uh, do you have to adjust your uh, kind of pin-up style you're known for? Yeah, yeah. Especially in today's market, you really have to dial down the, you know, the sort of the, the sex appeal aspect of it. Which is, I mean, that's appropriate. I mean, they're they're 16 year old girls. It shouldn't be that way. And it's it's for uh, kids also. Well, uh, no, actually, right now uh, Archie's been rebooting all their books and they're. They're hitting an all ages audience. I, I, I mean, um, when we were at New York Comic Con, when we were at San Diego Comic Con, not a lot of kids were coming up. It was mostly adults. Really? Some, a lot of them were older fans who've been reading the. I mean, the Archie comics are celebrating their 75th anniversary right wow. now. Wow. Yeah, Archie, Captain America, and Wonder Woman all came out in the same year. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, so. It really is becoming more of an all ages type of thing, but keeping it firmly and safely a book that younger readers can, can read without having to go to their parents and say, Mommy, what does this word mean? That sounds great. It's good. It, it is important because there's not a lot of comics in America that do that anymore. I see. So the, there's another question which is kind of close to this one. Uh, I've seen your cover run, your uncovered run, uh, Sketchbook 2. <laughs> And there are a lot of uh, pieces there, a lot of covers uh, from different uh, DC eras that are, uh, in my opinion, uh, that wouldn't be acceptable as you, today's uh, standards uh, at DC or Marvel. What do you have to say about that? Well, it's just, it's, you know, the, the times are changing, so you have to sort of roll with it, otherwise you just, you don't get work. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, there was a, there was a period when you could do a little more, you know, pin up type artwork, and it's not, uh, it's not, it's not, uh, well, it's frowned upon these days, so I uh, uh, try to roll it. I see. Uh, there's also another question <laughs> of mine. We were talking about your, uh, with your wife, Alison, yesterday, uh, about the, these uh, controversial uh, Frank Cho and uh, Manera covers. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have uh, some, you know, insight to these, uh, what do you think they, I mean, they try to uh, accomplish, or are the fans right, or something like that? Nothing too political, just. No, I, I don't. I don't think the fans are, are right in in their in the extremity of their reactions to the yeah, work. I, I mean, um, I know Frank. So it's it's filtered through. I mean, I know he's a he's a he's a, he's a good guy. He's, a, he's got two lovely daughters, and he's a you know he's a nice person. But he likes drawing the pinup art, and uh, he also likes creating trouble. So yeah. If you uh, if you poke that bear, you're going to get a lot of insane response. I I do think. See, the, the problem is, uh, especially nowadays with social media. Uh, the reaction to anything is such a pendulum swing in the opposite it's direction. Like a black and white. Yeah, and it's people. I, you know, like I, I'm, I'm old enough to remember when people considered context before they got bent out of shape about an issue. People don't do that anymore. They see something on the internet, they go, "That's obviously wrong." Yeah. And uh, even when they don't get 
even when they're proven wrong, I mean, uh, they don't backtrack. They, they, you know, it's the popular expression right now. They're doubling down on their yeah. on their rage. Uh, I don't, I don't think the reactions to it are healthy and important because we've got way bigger problems in life than, you know, Frank Cho drew a butt on a comic book cover. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, people are allowed to voice their opinions, and uh, I just wish it wouldn't get out of, you know. Yeah. 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 And also there is this uh, Robbie Rodriguez uh, incident with the, the Spider Gwen one. It's I know it's not your uh, not your work and stuff, yeah. but just uh, it's really interesting to hear about another uh, artist who you know is known for this kind of uh, not this kind but uh, some yeah. Kind. Uh, am I also known for not getting into trouble? <laughs> like, no, no. You're, 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 you're asking me all these questions like just kind of hide in my cave and uh, <laughs> uh, try, try to save the controversy for the important issues. Uh, no. You know, and, I would uh, never say that. <laughs> okay, sorry. No. <laughs> and also, uh, we talked about yesterday, this is a favorite question of mine, and uh, we can put this uh, legend in the box now. Uh, Photoshop and uh, the mouse uh, thing, yeah. Yeah, the, the ones that you use uh, to color your artwork. Mm -hmm. Is it true or how does it, this work? That, exactly. I, that I am using a 10-year-old version of Photoshop and yeah, I yes, work for the mouse. Right. Yes, it's all true. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's just I, I fear new things. So uh, <laughs> you know, uh, also my wife won't let me have a uh, uh, a Wacom tablet and a stylus because she likes to sell the original art. Yeah, I see. And there's no original art when you draw digital inks. Yeah, of course. But you still color with the mouse and not the Wacom tablet. Yeah, still, color, still yeah, yeah. color with the mouse. I really like the, the remark you made about uh, Adobe, uh, that they always try to get you to promote their new... They come by every San Diego and they want, they want me to like, oh, here, try out the latest version of Photoshop and I go, but I don't need it. You know, and it's 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 like somebody trying to sell you a car because hey, it's got it's got Bluetooth, and I'm going, you know, my my old car's fine. It still gets me where I need to go. They don't like to hear that. So <laughs> that's an awesome it's that's okay. an awesome story. Uh, a couple of horror comics. I mean, it's just you, know, you do what you do what it is. You know, yeah. it's just, it's just, uh, I don't prefer one over the other. I see. Yeah, it's just it's all just work, but I, I well, guess all, you all, have a little it, bit of fun. It's all with it's all writing things. and drawing, you know. And you find, you know, if somebody comes up to you and says, "Hey, would you like to do a western?" You say, "Oh, I've never done a western. I'd like to explore that genre." Uh, I'm not married to superheroes just yeah. because they happen to dominate the market of American comics. Yeah, that's a, an interesting question for uh, the American uh, market. Uh, did you grow up reading only American comics, or did you <clears throat> find, uh, you know, European style these hardcovers or whatever just for the art? I didn't even know Europe existed until I was fourteen. Ah, so, uh, okay. No, I, I'm sure that uh, I didn't read any European comics until I was in my late teens or early twenties. Oh, I see. So now, now you are writing and drawing this uh, Betty and Veronica comic. Mm -hmm. uh, is this a new experience for you, or uh, I mean? Like doing the art all together with uh, the writing. I really enjoy it. Uh, I, I, I I loathe calling myself a writer because it seems to be I find it I'm insulting people who actually write for a living. I, I'm more of a, <laughs> an elegant typist. So I see. yeah, but you do, do actually plot your uh, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I really I really enjoy it because it's it's. That means I can continue tweaking it all the way through the process. I see. Like, from, like okay, here's, here's, you know, sometimes when you get a script from a writer, you don't know what their intention was. So you may be interpreting it or not interpreting it as well. Like, oh, I see. Um, in very few instances, you come up with, to come up at cross purposes where you're trying to do something completely different than, than the writer was intending. And I like the idea that I, I come up with the story, I start drawing it, I go, oh, wait, I got, I've got a better way of getting this idea across. And I don't have to call somebody and say, yeah, do yeah. you mind if I change this page? So you only have to call yourself. I have to ask the guy in the mirror. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for doing this interview. Thank Our you. time is up. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.